Senator John McCain is said to be optimistic after revealing he's been diagnosed with brain cancer. McCain recently underwent surgery to remove a blood clot, and doctors found the aggressive form of cancer called glioblastoma. The actual tumor was removed after a four-hour surgery. The 80-year-old is currently reviewing further treatments, but tweeted, I greatly appreciate the outpouring of support. Unfortunately, for my sparring partners in Congress, I will be back soon, so stand by. Well, joining us now is Dr. Paul Schwartz, a neurosurgeon at uh, Hartford Hospital. Thanks for being here, Dr. Schwartz. First of all, if you can explain to us in layman's terms, what is glioblastoma? Glioblastoma is a cancer of the brain. It's a cancer of the support cells of the brain that is very aggressive uh, and uh, uh, grows relatively rapidly. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what we hear here is that uh, John McCain went in to have a blood clot removed. Uh, that's when the tumor was discovered. Is there a link between those two? Thing? Sure. Anytime you have a blood clot found in the brain that isn't explained by trauma or a high dose of an anticoagulant or a blood thinner, you have to think about what are the other causes that, that it could be. And one of the major ones is a tumor that has been previously undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. so, so I think for most people, when we hear something like brain cancer, we hear about a tumor uh, in the brain. That sounds very serious to us. Uh, what are the treatments here? So the treatments usually involve, first and foremost, what happened with Dr. With, uh, Senator McCain is um, uh, resection. And uh, what, from what I understand, he had a complete resection of the area that had the tumor within it. Okay, and, and if you can just quickly t tell us what that means, resection. Resection is a craniotomy. You take a piece of the skull off, you take the tumor out uh -huh. uh, and all of the associated blood clots, and you put the, the skull back together again. Uh -huh. uh, and then after that, you go ahead and allow the patient to recover and usually there's chemotherapy and radiation involved after the fact. Now we just we just mentioned uh, in the story about uh, Senator McCain that he is 80 years old. How does his age play into the treatment here and the prognosis? Yeah, usually uh, the age is not as important as the health of the individual. So mm -hmm. if you're otherwise healthy you undergo the same sorts of therapies that you would if you were younger. Young people, as in everything, young people have a better prognosis and a longer lifespan uh, just in general. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it should affect him that much. And in this case, so the prognosis for him, it's possible he could come through this if he's a healthy 80-year-old? Uh, he can. Uh, usually glioblastoma is thought always to decrease life expectancy, but exactly how much depends on how he responds to the future treatment. Okay. How, how have the treatments uh, uh, changed and improved over the years? So we used to have a, a rarely poor prognosis of a 1, 5, and 10 or 15 year survival. We're much better uh, at that these days. And the chemotherapy and radiation has been honed down to give maximal chance of long-term survival. We have some new therapies and a whole bunch of things are on the horizon. The new therapies involve wearing a, uh, a helmet that gives pulsed uh, electric fields to the brain to decrease rapidly dividing cells like cancers. Mm -hmm. And the other therapies which are uh, being investigated at major medical centers uh, um, major academic medical centers include uh, utilizing the body's ability uh, to use the immune system to attack uh, any tumor. And that's okay. done for other tumors, and it's being investigated right now for, uh, for brain cancers as well. Always fascinating new things on the horizon uh, in the medical world. Dr. Paul Schwartz, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. All right.